there's nothing that's more difficult for me than disappointing the Xbox community. Um, I've been a part of it for a long time. I obviously work on Xbox, head of the business, have a lot of friends, get a lot of feedback. Um, and just to kind of watch the community lose confidence, be disappointed, I'm disappointed. Um, I'm upset with myself. Uh, I, I kind of make it revisit our process. You know, I think back to the announcement of 60 frames per second, and then we weren't shipping 60 frames per second. That was kind of our punch in the chin, rightfully, uh, a couple weeks ago. And then seeing the game come out and the critical response was not what we wanted. Um, and it's, it's, it's disappointing. Um, and so kind of pick myself up. Uh, what can we learn? How can we get better? Uh, I, one thing I'll fight is kind of uh, what went wrong. There's clearly quality and execution things that we can do. But one thing I won't do is push against creative aspirations of our teams. Then a lot of people will say, hey, you've got teams, teams know how to do one kind of game. Just force them to go do the one kind of game that they have a proven track record for. Um, and I'm just not a believer in that. Maybe that means I'll, I'll under deliver for some of our fans out there, but when a team like Rare wants to do Sea of Thieves, when a team like Obsidian wants to do Grounded, when Tango wants to go do Hi-Fi, when everybody probably thought they were doing Evil Within 3, um, I want to give the teams the creative platform to go and push their ability, push their aspirations. Um, but I also need to have a, a great selection of games that are continue to come that surprise and delight our fans. And we under delivered on that. And for that, I apologize. It's um, not, not what I expect, not what I want, um, but you know, it's ours to deliver.